Hi, I'm Mike Deal, and welcome to volleyballoneonone.com. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the arm swing. You know, I've been playing for 15 years overseas, and one of the things that has led to my success is my arm swing. And one of the basic principles I want to discuss first is imagine a whip. Someone has a whip. First, you have that long motion, and then at the very end of the whip, the end of the whip gives the slap. So we want to talk about your whole approach and whole swing with that concept in mind. So I don't know if you guys know, when, when the arm swing comes back, I'm going to jump back and the whole body is torqued in, in the hyperextension mode. I'm going to have that elbow back. And the reason this is probably one of the most important, the elbow has to be back so that I can engage my pectoral muscle. If, if my elbow stays front, then I'm only using my, my teres major muscle and that's probably about this long and about that thin. So I can't really generate a lot of power with that muscle. So I want to make sure that that elbow is back so that I can engage this whole motion along with my body motion. With those things combined, I can put a lot more pace in the ball and put body influence behind the ball, which really adds the topspin. The topspin is created with the body, not the wrist. So when, we, when we're going up to take that swing, when we get that, that elbow back, just like if you see it in, on the cover of the AVP balls, they have a, a little figure of a guy out there. He's, he's like this, he's just like this. His elbow's way back out of the way so that I can bring that arm through with this muscle. That's probably one of the most important things you can remember about the arm swing. Also, keep that hand open. You see a lot of this going on out there. A lot of, the more hand surface we have on the ball, the more influence I can put on the ball, whether it be top spin, side spin, whatever. Make sure I get, get, get those hands open. So let's go over those things again. Elbow coming up more or less in the bow and arrow position. You got use, I'm sure you all heard that. Like I said, once again on the, on the AVP ball, you have that little diagram of that guy, which is pretty much like this. Now at the end of the whip, I'm going to come through with my shoulder and I'm going to be piking with my body. So before the swing, you look like this. After the swing, I don't know if you guys have seen those pictures of Karch Karai. After he swings, he's like this. His legs are forward and his arms are down. His body is crunched forward. So his body has gone from this to before you're going to hit to this after. And that elbow being back is cr absolutely crucial. Absolutely crucial. So be sure to check out the rest of my videos on volleyball101.com. Thanks.